All right, so what number did I leave off on? Six? All right, so this is going to be number seven. So I'm going to do one as an example, and then I'll give you all of the trig ones. I suggest you make flashcards. You guys don't even know yet how much stuff is coming down the line that you are going to have to memorize. I would make flashcards, and I've seen people put them on like a key ring. You ever seen that? Like, like I would go back and make them for the derivative rules. I would make them for these integral rules, and you've got a lot more stuff coming. Okay, so like there is a lot of memorization. All right, so we're going to rewrite tangent as something over something. Do you guys remember what tangent is? Sine over cosine. And then we're gonna do a u substitution. When in doubt, you want to let u equal the denominator. If you are absolutely unsure, you're like, I have no idea, let u equal the denominator. So what is your derivative of cosine? Good. I heard you guys thinking about it negative sine of x dx, then you wanna find that in the problem. It almost matches except for the negative. So we're gonna to have to multiply by a negative to get that to cancel out. So in place of sine of x dx, we're gonna put negative du. So I would put the negative out front or negative one, if you will. Du at the end, what's still there? one over u. And so that antiderivative is ln of u plus c, and then replace u with cosine of x. So it is negative ln cosine of x plus c. I am, you like know what's coming. I am going to list out all six of them. I want you to write them down at least once so that it's in your notes officially. We're going to do all of the integrals. So integral sine of x dx, like just go ahead and list all six of them out and then we'll answer them together. I have flashcards and I would, oh, well, when you guys were pre-count, did we do it during the logarithmic stuff? Do you remember when I lined you up and we did ln of stuff and and evaluating logarithms. We're probably not allowed to do that now because of COVID, but maybe because there's only seven of you, I could like, I don't know. We could figure out. What's that? <laughs> like you're just always together, yeah. All right, now sine and cosine, we kind of just answer them. Give me a function that if you did the derivative, you would get sine, like sine's the answer. Negative cosine. So negative cosine of x plus c. And then antiderivative of cosine. So you need to come up with a function that if you did the derivative, cosine would be the answer, It'd be sine of x plus c. So those ones we kind of just like think about, just do it backwards. Tangent, I just worked out for you. It is negative ln cosine of x plus c. You have two choices. You can either just flat out memorize that or you can rewrite it as sine over cosine and work it out. That didn't take us very long. So like whatever your choice is. Cotangent, I didn't work that one out, but you could rewrite cotangent mm -hmm. instead of sine over cosine, it would be cosine over sine you would let u equal sine of x and you could work that out. It is positive ln sine of x plus c. So sine and cosine, you can kind of just write those ones down. These two, if you needed to, you could work them out. These are really the only two you have to flat out memorize, all right? Integral or antiderivative of cosecant, it is negative ln cosecant of x plus cotangent of x plus c. Cosecant and cotangent were buddies for the derivative rules. They're still buddies for the integrals. Antiderivative for secant is positive ln secant of x plus tangent of x plus c. Secant and tangent were buddies for the derivative rules. They're still buddies for the antiderivative rules. Also, you know where you have these, and this is not a main reason why you even have an algebra textbook, because you may have noticed you don't even have to remember what page it's on because we're going to just open the front of it like all throughout the whole day. So that's convenient. 
So we'll do one more using one of these ones that you would have to memorize. So again, sine and cosine, I think you would just know those. Tangent and cotangent, you could work them out if you needed to, but secant and cosecant, you're gonna need to memorize them. There's some proof out there for it. I'll be real honest with you. I don't know what it is. I just always memorize them. All right, so what would we let u equal here? Yeah, the guts of the problem. So 5x squared, that derivative is 10x dx. We're gonna adjust with a 1 tenth. Sorry, I sped that up a little bit because it feels like you guys are kind of there. So we're going to re, uh, replace the x dx and in its place, we're gonna put one tenth du. So put one tenth out front, du at the end. What's still there? Cosecant of u. And so you would just need to know that one. So it is negative and we have a one tenth out front. So it'll be negative one tenth ln cosecant of, u. now I know the, the rule says x, but it would be u, okay? So cosecant of 5x squared plus cotangent of 5x squared. It's like of that stuff, like whatever was in the problem. And then plus c. The, uh, the trade-off to memorizing something is that that's your answer and you're done. So like you just memorize it, you don't have to do any more work. 